It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Salt Beer Factory. Love their beers. Uh, this one's been produced for Morrison's Supermarket. It's called Glide New England IPA. It's described as tropical and hazy and it's 7% ABV. The reason why I said in enthusiastically 7% ABV is because this beer has come in at three pound, three pound. So to give you a, an example, the other beers I picked up, I picked up a Burnt Mill Brewery beer, which was three pound 50. Burnt Mill are fantastic. I've got no issues paying three pound 50 for a beer whatsoever. Then we had that Northern Mon Monstrosity, the sauce ice cream pale ale at three pound 25. That was more money, more money than a 7% ABV New England IPA. By 25 pence. Camden was cheaper and the Polly's Double Dry Hop Pale Ale which I treated myself to without reviewing of course I've already reviewed it that was £3.50. So just to give you a comparison the, the highest ABV beer by salt on the shelves is £3 a can and it's 7%. That's good value for money in my eyes but it's got to taste good. It's got to taste good. Uh, the collaboration is with Drop Project Brewing Company. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Uh, Salt Beer Factory, I would say for me, landing big, landing their first big blow on the UK consumer beer buyer was probably their Huckerback. Salt Huckerback was their kind of breakthrough beer. That was the beer that everybody kind of stood up and took notice of and realised Salt Beer Factory were producing terrific beer for the supermarkets. And for me, Salt Beer Factory are the most consistent. I've not looked at this beer. I've not bought it before i've not tried it i've come across it i believe it's been in morrison's in some morrison store for about a year it's not been in my local morrison store i've had to travel to cardiff for it so if you want it travel to a larger store but i've got every confidence in this beer because every other salt beer that i've had before now from a supermarket has been spot on it's been really really good uh, one finger white head a uh, good levels of carbonation on this one. Hazy, straw coloured, looks really, really good. Uh, let's get the aroma. Yeah, I mean, the aroma is just exciting. That's the first word that popped into my head. It's an exciting aroma. There's lots of lemon, there's lots of grapefruit, there's lots of orange peel peppery spiciness coming through a little light sweet malt aroma coming through but it genuinely smells absolutely fantastic it really does no more talking let's dive in cheers everybody That is just incredible. That is just the most incredible supermarket beer since I first tried Huckerback probably three years ago. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows. What a beer that is. Three pound a can, 7% ABV, and it is just gliding. Well, it's called Glide, isn't it? That is gliding down for a 7% ABV beer. It is super juicy. They've treated the water. The beer is so soft and fluffy-like. 
unbelievable little tickle of carbonation helps to push the beer around the inside of the mouth to release more of that flavour. There's flavours of tin pineapple, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, just terrific, terrific, terrific beer. Honestly, terrific, terrific beer. It's so tasty, so tasty. Um, so let's talk about that tin pineapple. So, when you open a tin, of course, you've all had tin pineapple. Open up a tin of pineapple and you've got that kind of syrupy juice in the bottom of the tin. You get that in abundance, but you first and foremost, you get that kind of pineapple flavour from the rings. And then you get that kind of like little bit of sweetness from that kind of syrupy juice just to, at the beginning of it all. But it just comes together so well. The beer comes together so well. It's so soft and juicy. And it's a beer that, but it's dangerously drinkable. Dangerously drinkable beer. Now, oh, his, his and fizz of carbonation. Pushing the beer around, it's just and it's just so soft. The water's been treated so it's nice and soft. Unless, of course, it's just Yorkshire water. Uh, this brewery's based in Saltair, in just near Leeds there. I've been to Saltair. My, my mate lives in Saltair. I believe I've been to Saltair anyway. Um, there's another brewery there called Saltair Brewery. I believe they're actually part of the same company. Um, but just incredible incredible beer uh, the next thing i wanted to talk about is so how are they able to achieve this why am i drinking like from northern monk i'm drinking ice cream pale ales at three pound 25 a can and it's an absolute monstrosity of a beer and then for 25 pence cheaper in the same purchase purchasing it at the same time I've been able to drink a 7% ABV IPA that, that is super juicy and super drinkable. Well, I firmly believe that Salt Beer Factory have got a strategy. And their strategy is stick the supermarket beer on the shelves and just break even. That's what I think they're doing. They're just breaking even. So what they're doing in effect then is... They're almost giving the beer away. They're not giving it away for free, but they're not making any money on it. Morrison's will definitely make some money on it. So will Tesco with, with their beers. They'll make some money. They've got no interest in breaking even, these supermarkets. But in terms of the brewer, they will be prepared to break even. And the reason why they're prepared to break even is because, just look at me for argument's sake. I think the sun shines out of salt beer factories backside and, and the reason for that is because I'm buying these supermarket beers from Salt Beer Factory and the beer is tasting great but when I was in Leeds 18 months ago I went to Salt's Bar. Salt Beer Factory got a bar in Leeds and I was drinking all of their other stuff behind the bar on the taps and that was equally as good but probably a little bit better you're paying more money, they're definitely making a profit on the beer in their bar. But it's an introduction to Salt Beer Factory. It's an introduction. It's saying, hey, look at us, give us a try, check out our website, check out our bars and just enjoy our beer. That's what I think is going on here. That... It's a fantastic example of an IPA, a New England IPA, 7% ABV for three pounds a can. The margins on that must be so tight. So tight. I like that beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.